Okay, so for me, uh, my activism has started, I think, eight years ago, uh, and I was already uh, with my uh, partner because we've been together for, I think, 12 years now. So we uh, we just looked around one day and saw what has been happening and what is done and what still needs to be done. And we thought, okay, we should do something about this. So we went, uh, first of all, I think we went um, to a kind of uh, party, fundraiser party um, for this organization. But Miłosz um, Nivegruja was not... Um, registered yet and uh, it was fighting for not for marriage equality but for any kind of civil unions for same-sex couples uh, so we went there we met some people uh, then we showed up again on some other meeting uh, and yeah it just it just it was just a slippery slope from there <laughs> uh, so we stayed for for good we both are um, in the organization, we are bo uh, both uh, board members uh, and yeah, we have been there for the past eight or nine years. Uh, we have been there when we were um, registering the, um, the association. We were there when we were deciding that, yeah, we should speak up about marriage equality, not just kind of civil unions, uh, because this is what we are trying to achieve. Yeah, me and my partner uh, would definitely uh, get married in Poland if it was possible. And I think we should be, you know, standing in the line, the, the first in the line, because <laughs> we deserve it. Uh, as we were, seriously, we were the first organization in Poland that was, uh, you know, well, let's say brave enough to speak up a bit, uh, about marriage equality. Um, so, yeah, we would love to get married, not only because of the you know, sentimental um, weight of this uh, of this event, but also because we would be uh, protected because we're not protected right now in any way. Uh, yeah. I could die tomorrow and Victoria's doesn't have anything, right? Yeah. Same goes for the other way. Um, we, during these, these years, we have faced some, mm, some not so nice situations, but it was mostly um, online harassment, um, not face to face. Um, there were some not, yeah, some really horrible situations when I remember Victoria was on, uh, was a face on, uh, on the, of a campaign. Uh, so there were uh, posters all around Poland with her face uh, on them and her mom's faces uh, and her mom's face. Uh, and there were some videos of people who were, you know, tearing them down and then burning them. So it was quite horrifying to see to see her face, you know, getting burned um, on the ground. But other than that, we didn't face any, um, you know, physical violence because of that. Um, what is hard, I think, and the hardest is that we are both active. Uh, she's also a journalist, a news journalist. So she has to know everything that is going on right now. She has to know every single, every little news um, that, that is happening. So there is no way for us to, you know, escape from everything that is happening. And all these things are hard to process. Uh, and, and there is no way to escape for us because, you know, I do my work uh, in the association and this is where I am uh, from, you know, Monday to Friday. And she's, she's a journalist, so she also has to know everything about it. So we both know it. We both are doing the best we can to change uh, the situation of the society and of the community in Poland and it's tiring, it's exhausting and it's really really hard. With everything that's been going on, well we are both on meds <laughs> and and we are both, you know, we are both medicated and uh, we both go to psychiatrists um, and therapy uh, and it's something that I would recommend to uh, lots and lots of people because it really really helps so um yeah we we are not afraid to ask for help um and you know we just try to support each other it's it's hard and nerves are strung high 
and um, they are just trying not to pour this uh, everything bad that's happening outside into our home uh, and into our relationship it's hard but you know we just have to support each other and just to have to be there for each other and this is all that that matters actually we've got our families who are also supportive we've got lots and lots of friends unfortunately lots and lots of friends are you know increasing their medication or uh, leaving poland um just emigrating to other countries because of what's happening uh but yeah yeah we have a good support system in that way we don't have uh, actually don't have any data uh, about um, immigration for the past few months because it's all still a really a fresh situation so mm-hmm. so we're not ready with any polls or research but uh, what i can say is well more of the my you know own personal anecdote anecdote yeah. uh, and people are definitely considering leaving poland just because of the of the current climate uh, and it's something that shouldn't be ever happening are you feeling that you need to leave your home because yeah. some people are telling you that you're not welcome here it's outrageous but it is happening and we uh, me and victoria we were always we've been always saying that Poland is our home and this is a place that we want to fix first um, and we don't want to leave but uh, lately people were asking that uh, these these questions do you consider leaving someday and we just said you know we don't want to this is our home and our place in the world but on the other hand if it's too much we just have to care for each other we just have mm-hmm. to care for each other for for ourselves first so yeah we don't want to i don't think we will but on the other <laughs> hand it's something that we start to consider start to even consider and it's it, it hasn't been like that before well um for the question if i'm optimistic about the future i have to say yes because if i weren't i don't know how would i be able to go to work every day yeah so i have to be optimistic i have to think and believe that we can change something even if um, it's not going to be easy and even if it's not going to be quick we are doing things that are changing people's lives and it sounds a bit braggy but it really is like this and because we've got means and we've got yeah we've got means to do that and we've got some people who are reaching out to us and saying thanks thanks for your work thanks for your job so i have to be optimistic because otherwise i don't know how would i be able to you know cope with everyday yeah. life